you know that in many countries, light is something only rich can afford, while the poor have to live in darkness and next to trash. That's why this man went to over 32 countries to turn the trash into light. How is that possible? And how much light can an empty plastic bottle make? In Manila, Philippines, I introduce you to Ilak Diaz. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Ilak, and I make light bulbs out of used plastic bottles. Ilak is an engineer, and in 2013, he was building a school in the Philippines. He realized that the kids there were surrounded by used up plastic and that they had no place to do their homework, but in the dark. Because here, electricity can be so expensive that in some villages, people have to spend more than 30% of their money on light. Yes, light that we take for granted. People here have to use kerosene lamps to light their homes. And not only is it expensive, but many of them have to take four-hour trips into the city every week just to get it. So Ilak thought, what if there was a way he could help them clean their village from the plastic and get them cheap light at the same time? This is how he created this lab. This is what I call litter of light, a plastic bottle turned into a lamp. By simply putting water and bleach together in a used up plastic bottle and putting that bottle in a roof like this, you can light up an entire room. There's no energy used, just sunlight. It's the cleanest light bulb you'll ever find, and it's made of trash. But the problem is that at night, the bottle became useless. So he came up with a new version using a solar panel that works day and night. And the best thing about this lamp is that everybody can make it. So he began teaching the villagers how they could make it on their own. Apart from the bottle, these are simple parts you can buy anywhere in the Philippines some electronic parts, an LED from a motorcycle, and a small battery. And by lighting up the villages, his lamps also helped reduce crime. It's harder to be a criminal when people can see your face. We take light and electricity for granted. But for many people around the world, surviving is a priority, and having light is a priority. Over the past eight years, we've taught hundreds of thousands of people in 32 countries how to light their homes using recycled parts and renewable energy. So if you want to change the world, then let us start by giving light to people who need it. Because empowering people to bring themselves out of darkness would be one of the most powerful ideas of them all.